Hello my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I've been on YouTube for the last three months, Leo. So all the subscriptions and likes and comments are very, very much appreciated. So Leo, we're going to take a look at your love scope, your love life in the next few weeks of September. This is going to be for September 6th, so for today until the 13th. Let me know if these messages resonate. If they don't, take a look at your moon rising and Venus signs. You can find that through Cafe Astrology. I left that link in the description box. If you'd like also a personal reading from me, then my email address is also there for you to contact me. I will let you know what the details and uh, prices are. My social media accounts are also there, guys. So if you want to follow me, there's Instagram, there's Facebook. Uh, reach out uh, if you do want a personal reading by email though because I have uh, a lot of information to send and so let's begin Leo Leo your overall energy versus the person you're dealing with remember that the roles can be reversed okay so we're looking at your energy but maybe this could be the energy of the person you are connecting with so whether that's a connection in the 3d or in the 5d someone that uh, you no longer speak to or someone who uh, we're just picking up on. We're picking up on their energy because they're still in your energetic field. Leo, I feel like energetically in your overall energy here, five of wands, there's been a little bit of chaos. So in your energy here, there's maybe some conflict within yourself just because it's combined here with the five of uh, the five we got the four the four of pentacles so four of pentacles is, is saying within your energy you're kind of holding back you're a bit closed off from whatever is going on in your romantic slash love life in the next few weeks due to some some of you because you're going through some inner battles with that five of wands because this is your energy but maybe it's due to uh, conflicts and battles and opposing points of views um, with other people, okay, or with the person you are connecting with. So you're a bit conflicted. You're struggling here in your energy in the next few weeks. Now, remember, if this doesn't resonate, you know, just check out your moon rising in Venus. I am just the messenger, so don't shoot the messenger, Leo. But my Leos are so awesome. I love Leos. I can't actually, Leos has such an deep level just because we are fire signs right for the ones who don't know me i'm an i'm a sun in aries moon in pisces and rising in virgo all right guys so let's take a look at your deeper your your deepest desires i'm already tongue-tied deepest desires what do you want deep down leo hmm in the next few weeks okay so deep down leo this is what i'm getting i'm getting the five of swords combined with the temperance which is a beautiful card, beautiful energy, combined with a, another beautiful energy is the Four of Wands. So I'll explain. Deep down, you want this to go away. You want conflict to go away. You want this type of shady behavior to go away. So in the past, I feel like, you know, we see two fives here. So we see some conflicts, whether that's within yourself or with other people. It's made you closed off a little bit, okay? Now here it's saying deep down, you want to balance that out. And I had the word in my in my head and I lost it. You no, lo you no longer want to be in a place of conflict with others. You want to um, you want to forgive, you want to reconcile. You want this to go away basically because the temperance is balancing. It's finding a balance. It's going with the flow. It's healing. It's finding our, our our place of groundedness when it's the four of so the four of wands we want stability we want foundations with someone we want commitment we no longer want to be a place of um of these dynamics where people always want to win an argument you know these are disagreements these are conflicts through communication because swords are communication so what i'm getting is that you no longer want to be in that state deep down you want that to go away with the temperance card Combined with the Four of Wands, you just want things to get stable and solid again when it comes to relationships. Or, or when it comes to this connection with the person that we are connecting with here in this spread. So, what are your emotions in the next few weeks, Leo? What are your emotions? How do you feel? 
That's way too many cards, Spirit. This is like at least 12 cards. Um, let's try again. Hmm. Emotionally, I think you're taking your time, Leo, in the next few weeks. You're not going to make any emotional uh, leaps, jumps. Okay. Oh, we have so many cards. Okay. Let's take a look step by step. So right here, Knight of Pentacles, you're taking your time. You're not jumping into things. You're not being that Knight of Wands that maybe you've been in the past where you just jumped into things very impulsively. This is taking your time, taking a look at what, you know, emotionally, what it is that you need, what it is that you want. Now, let's check out the other cards. We got the Moon, which speaks of fears, anxieties, cycles, and phases. We got the Empress. Okay. I feel like emotionally... And the Ace of Cups, look at that. Okay, so emotionally, you want to open up your heart. You want to feel love. You want to grow. You want your emotions to grow with the Empress, okay? The Empress is all about growth, fertility, creation, creativity, luxury. It's Venus. It's a very feminine energy where we're growing, where we're creative, where we're receptive. You want... To reach out and give your love in order to grow but you're taking your time here with that knight of pentacles why because of these three cards here and i've gotten i got the same cards for pisces now deep down in your emotions right now you do want to you know work things out you want to be open however it's taking time because of the moon which speaks of you being scared okay maybe due to past again past conflicts with other people past disagreements, or you just being scared because you're going through your own inner battles, okay? Your own inner struggles of how you should express and offer love because people have disappointed you. You're, there's, you're creating a block in your emotions with the seven of wands because you're scared. But this is just a cycle and a phase because the moon deals with cycles and phases. You know, the moon changes phase every day and every month there's a full moon and, and a new moon. So it's, we're constantly being influenced and impact by, you know, our emotions are constantly being impacted by the moon. It's just a phase, Leo. This too shall pass. And you're not, you see with the emotional world here, you're not about to reveal anything with the high priestess. You're not about to emotionally open up when the high priestess comes in into our emotions. All right, Leo, but I feel like you do slowly want to open up. However, you are being impeded by your fears and your, you know, past struggles or conflicts with other people or with a past relationship. But I feel like deep down, you don't want that crap anymore. You, you want to, you want reconciliation, you want healing, you want things to just move on. You want things to get more stable with that four of wands in your deepest desires. Okay. So let's take a look at what Leo is about to do in the next few weeks. What action steps will you be taking with this connection in love for September 6th to 13th? Okay. So many cards for Leo today. So we got the Justice card when we're dealing with Libra. Chariot, Cancer. So some of you might be dealing with these two signs. Some of them might have these, you know, Cancer, Libra signs in their chart. Maybe this is your rising or your moon or your Venus. But in the next few weeks, now I got this combined with this. Justice combined with the Six of Pentacles. What does this mean? You're trying to find balance. You want things to be fair. You, the Six of Pentacles speaks of giving and receiving. You're about to get your karmic oats, your karmic uh, debts paid. This is what I'm getting. So if you've been through some shady behaviors some conflicts, it's all going to even out. Now the chariot speaks of cancer, but it also speaks of going the distance of, you know, going forward, having that deter that self-determination, that motivation, that willingness to get past this five of cups energy, which is minor. It's a minor arcana. This is a major. So this is something that we can get through with the chariot. The chariot is pushing forward. Okay. So it's having that power to push forward through these past disappointments, these past regrets, this sadness, this grief. Okay. 
So this is what you'll be doing in the next few weeks, Leo. Let's take a look at the person that you are connecting with in your energetic field. What can we use? Oh, we're going to use Jimmy Tarot. You see, again, Leo, uh, Libra. There's a lot, of, a lot of you are dealing with some legal uh, issues, okay? With that justice card, things will <clears throat> be able to be balanced here. It did come upright, Leo. So for the ones who are dealing with some legal issues, Six of Pentacles is a very good indication that it might um, turn out uh, in your favor, okay? Okay. Overall energy of the person that you're dealing with, Leo. Well, we got the Strength card, which is Leo. Maybe you're dealing with another Leo, combined with the Six of Swords. So the person that you're dealing with, it's taking... A good amount of strength right now I feel like they're really finding the strength to move on now what does that mean is are they moving on from you are they moving on from their current crappy situation I don't know that's gonna be different for all of you some of you maybe they are moving on from you because you know there's the strength followed by the six of swords saying they're moving on from you because strength is Leo they're just you know moving on to something that is more uh, calmer or maybe they're moving um, location so that's travel location let's get another card for their overall energy please for the person that Leo is connecting with yeah a lot of you are, are dealing with some uh, air signs here Libra Gemini Aquarius the king of swords can be a Libra Gemini Aquarius um, most some of them can be a Libra because I see the justice card on your end in your energy uh, in the next few weeks. So someone here has made a decision or about to make a decision about moving on, okay? About moving forward into something that is more beneficial. Someone here felt like they were rejected and got, got, law, got left out in the cold, okay? Someone here is dealing with some financial difficulties as well, Leo. Um, what do they, okay, so what do they want deep down? I'm not going to take that one because I wasn't feeling it. Uh, my, my channel is all about intuition. So if my intuition is saying no, then I listen to it. Um, what does this person or this energy want deep down? Okay. What do they want deep down? What is their heart's desires right now when it comes to this connection? Jeez, we got the moon again. You guys are mirroring each other's energy. So the moon, I think they're very scared of, of um, admitting what they want, okay? The moon, again, it's cycles and phases. It's a very popular energy right now. Everybody's really, really in their feelings right now. I mean, the moon rules cancer. And if you know, cancer energy is very sensitive and moody and very intuitive. So the moon combined with what? What else? Are they scared of? I think a lot of them are scared. Deep down, they're they're scared of admitting, you know, what they want. They are scared. They're fearful. They're anxious. They are um, holding a lot on their shoulders. They are carrying a lot on their shoulders. This is someone who is burdened, burdened by by all these things. So they're, I mean, in their heart's desires, deep down, they want to put down the burden. When it comes to these fears and anxieties, they no, they, they no, lo no longer want to deal with it. There's something here in their energy that no longer wants to deal with this negative energy. Yeah, they want to put down the burden. They want this exactly like you, Leo. They want stability. But something here has made them carry a lot of weight, okay? And it's made them very, very anxious and fearful. But deep down, they want to let go. They want to put everything down because they want to find the state, the stability, just as much as you do. You know? Yeah. So let's take a look at their feelings. How do they feel about my Leos in the next few weeks? Ooh, that one flew right out. Okay. So the King of Pentacles. How do they feel? I feel like here is someone who is very reliable in their feelings. They want to invest. But let's take a look. It's a good energy. In their feelings some of them can be a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo someone who is dependable reliable hmm. 
but they're blocking with the seven of wands i think honestly in terms of feelings guys with that king of pentacles and seven of wands i feel like they're just focused on themselves they're focused on their coins because the king of pentacles is someone who is dependable but in mostly in, ta in the tangible sense of the word you know uh, when it comes to the home or finances or job or business or career someone who's got everything in order look how how these are those grapes right this is someone who's very financially uh, stable here so i think they're just emotionally kind of disconnected from their from their emotions seven of wands is blocking their emotions here hang man there's delays the hangman speaks of delays emotionally eh, i'm not seeing them expressing themselves really in terms of their emotions oh the knight of wands uh, the knight of swords so this is someone emotionally maybe who is not um stable because the knight of swords you know is communication it's thoughts it's someone who thinks is all up in their in their thought process and it's they're very quick about it they're very quick to analyze very quick to communicate three of pentacles three of pentacles in this deck i don't think is about the cooperation in this one but i feel like they're unwilling to cooperate emotionally right now yeah the sun the sun is Leo. I think for now, emotionally, they just want to have a good time, Leo. The Three of Cups speaks of celebrations, is just going out for drinks. I don't feel like that's a reunion per se, okay? Because it could be a reunion card. I feel like they see you as someone who they can just go out with just for, for a good time. Let's take a look at your action steps. What are you what will you be doing in the next few weeks, Leo? Ah, the fool, voila. So the fool is starting fresh, taking a leap of faith, starting a new beginning. I think you are going to let go of this uh, scenario, Leo. I think this person, uh, sorry, this, this can be you, Leo, but this, this, we're talking about the person, yes. Yeah, the person you're dealing with is starting, is focusing on their new beginning here with the fool. Uh, they've been disappointed with that five of cups. Did I see it in your energy? Look, you're mirroring your each, your each other's energy right here. You know, right here, you're moving past the Five of Cups. You're, you're both moving past this sadness that was in her past. I know I'm saying past a lot, but I am feeling like it is past energy. Yeah. I feel like a lot of you are starting um, a new beginning or focusing on a new path getting over this five cup five of cups energy this person too is trying to get over this this sadness this grief when it comes to relationships when it comes to this coming this coming of the, the coming together let's see here what is that two of cups this is what i'm getting this is what i'm feeling leo yeah you are completely going to this person or you remember the roles can be reversed is starting fresh is starting a new beginning trying to get over this five of cups focusing on this the two of cups and the ten of pentacles they want stability they want uh, true love okay uh, things will be delayed though there's a hangman situation here where things will be delayed for them but I'm feeling like both of you are going to get balanced, are going to have to get over this Five of Cups energy that was from the past because you are dealing with the chariot that is moving past this. Um, and I think it's going to take a little bit of time, to be honest. This is what I'm getting. This person and their emotions is very closed off and is very quick to judge with the Knight of Swords. And so are you. I mean, right now you are just slowly, slowly but surely, but surely looking at what um, situations are worth opening up for right now. Because the Empress with the, the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups is taking our time emotionally. Because we're kind of blocked from our fears here in, in, your, in your case. The High Priestess too, you're not revealing much about how you feel. Because you're taking your time. 
Okay, let's go with some romance angels here. So advice, trust. Trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. In the next few weeks, you're going to have trust. You need to, you're going to need to have faith and trust. And I totally resonate with this energy. Uh, for what? Because real love, true love, divine love is worth the wait, Leo. So divine timing is at work in your love life. You have to trust that this is around the corner for you. Okay? Let's go with the lover's oracle. Sorry, I'm getting a call at the same time here. Lover's oracle, what else do you... Hmm. Forgiveness. Yes. Forgiveness with that temperance card came up. Yes. See here, in deep down, you, you want things to get balanced. You just want forgiveness and healing. You know, with that five of swords from the past here. You just want things to get stable again. And this is what it's saying. Forgiveness. Okay, so I'm going to read it. Stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality, but by what you think dream and imagine isn't that nice here read it again pause it take that in um the next one is my beloved which is love the most lovely the loveliest card in the deck my beloved says though we may be physically apart spiritually which is the 5d guys we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing Oh, you are connecting with someone in the 5D, Leo. This is absolutely beautiful. Leo, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate all the likes, subscriptions, and comments. Make sure to check out your rising Venus and moon signs if this did not resonate completely. Have a great first half of the month of September 2019. Take care of yourselves.